Hey world, it's Tuesday the 5th of January 2010 and as you can see I'm dressed up for work. I'm going to be heading out the door in a few minutes. So I thought I'd just sit down and do my blog and uh, talk a bit of shit with you. Well, as I was getting dressed, um, putting on this ridiculous thing, I started to wonder why the hell do we wear ties? I mean, what is it? It's a piece of cloth we dangle around our necks, it dips into our food, it dips into the damn copier, it goes into the paper shredder. What the hell's the point of it? I mean, I know we're supposed to look fancy and whatnot, but surely we'd look quite smart without a tie. It doesn't seem to have any kind of uh, purpose as such. I think in the old days maybe it symbolized colors or I can understand in schools you have your school colors and that's your identity but as you get older do you really need to have a ridiculous piece of cloth around your neck which just snags on everything it doesn't make sense and it really pisses me off so if anyone's got any idea where the tie came from let me know uh, I did find a, a website over here the history of the tie um, it, apparently it dates back to like 1860s um, it was to do with the damn English again, uh, copying uh, Croatians, I think, with a neckerchief. So it is pretty interesting, but I just don't see the relevance today. And I'm sure a lot of men out there would agree. So, yeah, post your comments. Let me know a bit more about the damn tie. And uh, let me know why we should wear them. Yeah, so in other news, it is seriously cold out there. Um, well, the news channels are saying it's probably going to be one of the coldest winters in a hundred years. And I've definitely felt it. I mean, we froze to death last night under those covers. We had like a duvet and about three blankets and I even had my long johns on. I've even got my long johns on now. And uh, yeah, got to walk uh, all the way to the tube station, which is, well, it's not that far really. But uh, ah, I'm just whining because I've lived in England too long and that's what the British do. But yeah, uh, it's going to be pretty cold. They reckon it's going to start snowing tonight. So hold thumbs that I get home. Or hold thumbs that I don't get home if you like get really irritated by my blog. And uh, yeah, uh, I'll let you know what's going on with the weather tomorrow. Apparently it's going to be pretty extreme tomorrow. So we'll have to see about that. And the other news, I see that uh, the England authorities are now complaining that there could be a gas shortage because there's been a rise of 30% in gas demands because of the cold. Now my question is why don't these idiots see it coming? I mean they live in the northern hemisphere every year it gets cold every year they have a problem. I mean London came to a standstill last January because they didn't expect it to snow like it did. Ah, oh, Come on guys you live in the northern hemisphere it snows it's wintry it's fucking cold and yet you guys can't provide for us so what does that say about the intelligence of the average British politician not much so vote for a South African Prime Minister and I'll change things around for you I mean I've got the tie to do it I've got the bulldog face like Winston Churchill and uh, let's face it I've got the charisma to do it yeah <laughs> so another funny news, I see uh, there's a big uproar about the airport scanners that I spoke about last night and uh, the reason for this is they reckon it's going to encroach on child porn uh, laws. Now, isn't that going a bit far? It, it seems people are becoming too desperate to keep their privacy and this makes me think, is there more people out there that want to hide things than we know about? Because seriously, uh, a person that's sitting behind a scanner for 12 hour shifts is going to see everything. And after a while, the novelty is going to wear off and uh, I don't see those security guards sitting, you know, flicking off to 12 year olds or whatnot. I just don't see it. And anyway, the vetting process is going to be so strict on these things, you know, not even President Obama will get a job behind these scanners. So I don't really see the fuss about it. Uh, just do it, get it over with, at least we won't have planes exploding in mid-flight until they develop, like, prosthetic penises with bombs in it, or, um, you know, fake people. That's probably the next thing, actually. Terminators that'll go into flights, you know, look normal. Oh, wait, but then you'd see the... Ah, scrap that. You'd, you'd see the insides, which, that's the whole point of it, isn't it? Hmm. Anyways, guys, I am rambling as usual, so uh, let me go. I've got to 
go off to work now. Should be home at about 10 o'clock tonight. Joys of joys. Um, yeah, I suppose we're all going to do it. So wish me luck and uh, please keep viewing my videos and uh, giving me those supports, uh, the, the responses, whatever. Just give it to me. See you tomorrow. Bye.